Sixers internet, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to Number Six with Cheese. That's Corey, I'm Sean. Today we're headed to the International McDonald's. They have a global menu at HQ at McDonald's here in Chicago, and we're gonna try to get a home-style chicken sandwich from the Netherlands. Really excited for it, and we're also really excited for our new merch shop collection. We've got our spring collection um, dropping today to all of our Patreon members, so if you wanna snag some gear before it sells out and you're a Patreon member, um, just head over to the Patreon uh, website, patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese, and uh, we got a little link for you so you can get a little secret access to that new collection before the rest of these dweebs. No offense, dweebs. <laughs> Hey man, it's a business. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's do our business and go do a food review. All right, a couple of chicken sandwiches normally made for the Dutch from McDonald's acquired Jump Cut. All right, love this uh, McDonald's HQ video lineup. Let's do a Corey Wagner second angle. All right, let's see what we got here. Look at that, dude. Okay, so when well, you're looking at this amazing bun, that's a brioche bun. They put a bunch of seeds on it. it looks like poppy seeds and then sesame seeds. We've also got lettuce under there some bacon, we've got some cheese, that's white cheddar cheese, the delicious crispy uh, chicken patty right there. There's also, it's probably under the lettuce. Yeah, whoa, look at that. So that's a uh, spicy pimento sauce, whoa. and then we've also got caramelized onions and balsamic compote, which I'm not really sure what that is, and then red onion sliced um, onions. Damn. That's pretty aggressive. I love it. And then real quick on the big camera because we got it. You saw that bun looking amazing. Here's this crazy, this bacon is holding on by a thread. But it's, <laughs> it's doing its job. Alright, the last thing we had from here we loved. So let's see if this train continues. Homestyle chicken from the Netherlands. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, okay. Wow. I purposely bit into the spot that had the most amount of sauce. Yeah. I like it. Wow. I have good. Also that chicken is like so fried and crispy. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's better breading than what we get in America. That's yes, that's incredible. Ooh, I love that sauce. This is really good. Oh my god. I'm, I'm, I'm so impressed. Yeah, this is amazing. Much like I expected. America thinks they have the best of everything, but turns out everything else is actually better everywhere else. I've had that new like chicken sandwich that McDonald's rolled out last year a few more times, like after we reviewed it. I don't know why I keep getting it. Trash. The McChicken is better. Okay. It like tastes better. Like I don't care that it's a processed patty. Yeah. Like the flavor of it is better. I, 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 yeah, exactly. I don't care. And it's cheaper. Mm-hmm. I. But this is in a different league. This is like. This is like what I would expect to find at like a local spot. Yeah, absolutely. If this was served to us from some spot for like ten bucks at a like a pub chicken sandwich or like a chicken sandwich spot, I'd be happy. Yeah, I'd be stoked. What is that sauce? Like I can't even place it. <laughs> Bro, that pimento. Yeah. Wow. I'm like quickly becoming obsessed with pimento. I do love pimento, but man, like, and then that compote or whatever, like, there's like that sweetness to it. Yeah, it's got that balsamic. Uh -huh. I don't wonder if that's balsamic flavor. Is that sweet at all? Mm -hmm. Like a little hint of it? Yeah. This thing is giving me vibes. The onions are fresh. Mm. They also made this to order in like two minutes. I was in there for so little amount of time. Even the lettuce is better. It is, because it's it's like completely different. I don't like the shredded iceberg lettuce at McDonald's. Oh, it's pretty trash. This, I don't know what, this is still iceberg it looks like, it's just a piece of it. It just got fresh, <laughs> fresh iceberg. Yeah, and I don't, I don't know, like I, I'd rather have a piece like this that's crunchy over shredded. That's one thing, like I know nobody cares, but Wendy's does lettuce on a burger really well. It's always that like big crunchy iceberg piece, like in the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. That's like the intangibles, you know? I know, it's really. It's like is. in a guy in the NBA who sets good screens. Yeah. Like I know nobody cares, but it makes a difference. It literally gets no stats. Yeah. But the real analysts know. The real reviewers of sports. <laughs> That's right. Also, I would never talk about the lettuce of a burger or a sandwich unless we were doing this show. <laughs> I wouldn't like bring that up in a social never. Sandwich. Anybody no. else like this lettuce on here? Mm -mm. I would hold that to myself. I can't believe how impressed I am with literally everything from the International McDonald's menu. I know. It makes me want to be an international man. Remember like Austin Powers was the international man of mystery? Mm -hmm. I want to be like the inter international man of just fast food. Like that's, yeah. that's all I'm, I want to be. Is that so much to ask? No. The only thing that sucks about this McDonald's is if you're in the West Loop, 
like how do you get international McDonald's? Like there's so much great food in this I don't neighborhood. Know. That's a good point. It is hard to find inexpensive food here. That's so a good point. so at least like if you're there are probably a lot of people that work in the West Loop that don't make West Loop salaries. Mm -hmm. So on your McDonald on your lunch, you're not telling your office, but you're going here. That's true. This is great for people who live here mm -hmm. and people who work here who are like, I'm not going out and getting those banger expensive yeah. meals every day. Right. But for travelers, even for me, it was not just traveling neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. If I come to the West Loop, yeah. you're not gonna catch me here. Uh -uh. Oh, I keep do seeing me. I do seem to keep getting poorer. <laughs> so I might get here and be like, no, I'm gonna hit up that McDonald's. You bro. might. <laughs> I keep getting older, my bank account keeps getting less. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. That pimento sauce mixing with that compo is such a crazy one-two punch. And the crispy onions. I mean they're not crispy, they're so they're raw, but I love the crunch of a red onion. Yeah. Yeah. Gone. Well guys, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you already haven't. It really helps a lot. What's a great question? What is a sauce that you never see used on fast food sandwiches that you'd love to see used? Wow, aioli for me. Yeah. Pimento's very, right there too, obviously, but that's too yeah. obvious because we just did the whole episode and talked about it. Right, about it. how about a pimento aioli? Ooh. <laughs> how about a truffle, how about a truffle ranch? Bro, don't get me wet. <laughs> I mean, you're soaked. I'm soaking right now, dude. Um, all right, let's rate that thing against other sandwiches. Uh, out of five, <laughs> I think of um, Gold Member. Okay. Talk about Oscar Powers. He says something like, there's only two types of people that I don't like in this world. People who are insensitive of other people and the Dutch. <laughs> uh, out of five gold members, how many gold members do you give the homestyle chicken sandwich from Netherlands, Corey? That's an amazing chicken sandwich. The chicken was crispy and delicious. Um, the sauce was unbelievable, both that, uh, whatever, the balsamic based one and uh, the pimento. The onions were a great touch. The bacon was great, the lettuce was great, like everything on that was amazing. The only thing that could make that better is if they literally just started stealing Popeye's chicken. Yeah, they could do that. And then put that, but mm -hmm. that was still a great chicken, but so like good. it's the only thing they could do to make it better. That's an unbelievable sandwich. I'm gonna give that a great score. That's a 4.75, that's a fantastic chicken sandwich. I'm right there. I also need to make a correction that I don't think Goldmember said that, said that. I think that was Austin Howard's dad. Just so the internet doesn't lash out. But it was in Goldmember. Um, everything you said is absolutely perfect. Like, the chicken was almost perfect. You don't see crunchy, like, tender chicken like that in sandwiches. And that thing was only like, that's one thing I wanted to look up what the price was. Oh yeah, I got that. Twelve fifty-eight for both, not including tax. Okay. I mean, so just over a touch over six bucks for that. That's a steal. Is a steal for what sandwiches are now. I get that every time I'd go there if that was. Me too. Oh Me my too. gosh. Absolutely. Um, I'm gonna go the exact same score. I was thinking just a touch under perfect, just to leave room for the perfect international McDonald's sandwich, but that is also a 4.75. Wow. Dude, what a win today. What a win today. Yeah, no kidding. Wow. So uh, West Loop, Corporate McDonald's, HQ, thank you so much for serving that. I wonder how they come up with what stuff is next. They just like pick random stuff. No, like, dude, they're McDonald's. Know. They got all the analytics. Yeah, that's they true. They just look at how many sales of each thing and they're like, this sandwich is hella popular. That's so I true. wonder why. They got all the data. They got all the data. They also have uh, sweet potato fries right now in there. Nerd. The nerd. <laughs> nerd. Sorry. I think it's good to be a nerd these days. When you yeah, got it, when you got a business, <laughs> uh, guys. We'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Thanks for rocking with us. Tomorrow we're gonna hit some pizza, so come on back for that local Chicago fair, and we'll see you again soon. Go snag that new merch if you are a Patreon member before it sells out. Ooh.